Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking a sugar steak on the barbecue. So what we'll do is get straight to it. And don't forget everything used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check those out. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those of you new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so as I said at the beginning of the video, today we're gonna to be doing a sugar steak. Now if you haven't had sugar steak, you're missing out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna be cooking it on the baby Q today. You can do this on the Genesis, you can do it on the kettle. It's probably a lot easier on the kettle and a lot easier on the Genesis. All you need is a direct and indirect cooking system. You can use any steak for this. You can use ribeye, you can use T-bone steak, you can use scotch fillet. It's entirely up to you what you use. Today I'm gonna to be using a T-bone steak. So what we'll do is jump straight into it. Right, so first up, before you get your ingredients, you're gonna want something to mix it in. So we're gonna be using one of these mixing balls. Absolutely superb product. So everything you use in my video today, there will be links in the description below for the best place to get everything that I use. And the recipes down there as well. So what we'll do is jump in and start grabbing the ingredients. So now we've got ingredients, I'll quickly go through what they are. We've got some olive oil, some maple syrup, you're gonna need some brown sugar, sea salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, some onion powder or onion flakes, cumin, and some garlic powder. So what we'll do now is jump in, get that mixed, and then we'll start getting that rub on that steak before we put it in the fridge. What we'll do is jump straight into it. Right, so now we've covered that steak in that rub, we're gonna leave it in the fridge overnight. You can leave it for four to five hours, it's totally up to you, but I find for best results, leave it overnight. Right, and don't forget everything you're using the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. Right, so it's the following day, so what we're gonna do is get that steak out of that fridge and we're gonna leave it to get to room temperature for about 20 minutes before we put it on the grill. So what we'll do first is get that cue lit and set up, ready to cook this steak. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Right, so our grill's nice and hot, so it's time to grab this steak and get it on the queue.
so our steak's been resting for 10 minutes, so it's time to give it a taste test. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. Now as you can see that steak turned out beautiful, like I said at the beginning of the video, all you need is a direct and indirect cooking system. Now we do it indirect purely because we've got a sugar based marinade on there and it will burn. Now like I said you can do this on the Weber Genesis, you can also do it on the Weber Kettle. So long as you've got that indirect cooking system, so you've got the direct heat and indirect heat, it works perfectly. Now with the flavor of that mud rub, it tastes superb. Those flavors balance out perfectly and the steak come out really moist. Uh, my only suggestion obviously is just cook it to your medium rare and then let it rest till it comes up to that medium temperature, unless you like a rarer steak. Now if you're looking for a side dish along to go with it, I did do some grilled sweet potatoes and I'll put all card above link into that video if you want to check that one out after this one. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Now, if you're looking for a side dish to go along with it, I did do some sweet grilled.